hoes in this house. There's some hoes in this house. There's some hoes in this house. There's some. Hi, uh, um, welcome back or welcome to the channel. So, today, what we're doing, well, a while ago, I upgraded these speakers here, nice and subtle, can't even tell, and then, I upgraded this stereo, also, nice and subtle, can't even tell, so, next, I mean, I'll just show you how it is, I mean, it'll come through perfectly through, you know, an iPhone microphone, won't it, but, the speakers, yeah, they, they were the cheapest ones I could find that were branded, uh, but they are an upgrade over the standard ones. All right, okay, so we'll shout out Christine. We'll play her a song, shall we? Oh, Next, should we? I think it'll be golf for me, but I'm going to try. Anyway, happy birthday to my husband, yes. Paul Hewitt, who is Sam. Anyway. Anyway, so we've still only got two speakers, and they're only little ones, so it's never, no matter how, no matter how much well, no matter how much you're going to do with it, it's still just got two small speakers, very small speakers. But, like I said, upgrade over standard. So anyway, we're carrying on the theme of keeping it subtle. So I've got some nice OEM look. Hold on, let's get these out of the packet. Itch, 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 itch. There we go. So a nice three-way. Got a three-way speaker. So uh, we're going to fit these. Now, this leaves me with a predicament. I bought these off eBay. And I ordered one pair. And I got sent two pairs. Not sure why. But now I've got an extra pair. That I'm going to have to fit somewhere. But I haven't decided yet where I'm going to put them. So these ones, anyway. I'm going to put these in the back. So let's uh, let's start with that. Now, fortunately, these actually come with a template. Well, these are five-inch speakers, so let's cut that out and then put it against the car we're putting them and, well, see if it's going to fit, to be honest with you. Precision. So I'm sat in the back of my own car looking at where to put these speakers. It's luxurious because, well... Because of that, in it. Anyway, a lot of people seem to put these in. Oh, not a lot of people, but I've seen people put these on the parcel shelf. So we can try that, but I ain't got a parcel shelf. So unless I, well, unless they're floating speakers, it's not going to work. So I'm thinking, I want to put them here, nice and subtle, and that you know, like we said. Um, but I need to pull this off to see what's behind it. So I think we'll gently pull that off. Old, I think it just clips off. Yes. Got plenty of space. Yeah, that's where they're going. Sorted. So, anywhere around there, really. If it's anywhere around there. So, I'm thinking, you know, maybe in the middle. So, the most obtrusive and you know gaudy so i need to cut that out now so we'll position it where we want the speakers and then draw around it you need to be careful on this bit because you don't want to put it too close to this edge because this is just the speaker which goes through the hole not where the tabs are the tabs probably come out about another inch or so so i reckon there will do it ish it'll be close enough won't it so there's one side, and there's the other side. Yes. Now, as you can see, I'll probably tell. I haven't actually measured anything. I've just done it by a racket jack side, but it'll be close enough for what we're doing. So now we need to carefully cut this out. Now, this isn't the right method. This probably isn't the best method, but it's the, well, it's the tool I've got to hand these. So, See where I'm going with this, can't you? Yes. Now, yeah, 
this stuff some sort of sound in in the carpet or something that keeps on locking drill bit up and I keep having to clean it off but so as you can see now we've got a clean perfect circle removed so now we can fit our speaker and then we'll do the same on the other side but first if I make two big holes that are just a problem and then I'll make sure this one actually does what it's intended to do so a moment of truth hey look at that 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 is sexual that is good so let's get some wiring through well, I'll do it on the side first but I'm not going to film any of that and then I'll get some wiring through so next on the list is we've got this wire now this hang on hang on we found the end of it right you see it's not strictly speaker wire but it's twin core wire i mean it is for well it's twin core wire um but it'll do um so i need to route that through so what we need to do before i do that yes is um pull on this knob come on you fucking shitter won't come out come off Nice and carefully remove this. Oh, still not looking. Yeah, I'll do anything apart from go and get the right tool. Oh, well, a better tool. So anyway, we need to remove this. Now also, what I should mention it is when I fitted this stereo, I didn't put the illumination wire in. I forgot to put it in. So at night time, none of this lights up, which I think it's probably supposed to, and the screen doesn't go any darker. So while I'm here, I want to do that. But, uh, let's make way to access some shit. Right, so we're at the back of the stereo. We need to get the wire in to come out. Alright, so we'll get it under here, somewhere under there, just tossed in, and then we'll go back here. I'm gonna pull some carpet up and we just need to get it up there so it's not actually too bad. Get it wrapped around the seat belt and uh, up to the speaker. Plenty of room for it there, you see. Yes. Nice. So speaker wire will run down there. But I also need to get it up there. It did it. God, it's fucking going back on itself. Just push it down and so it comes out. Yeah. So I've just tucked it up sort of there for now. I'll probably cable tie it, but see get this wire to come through which is not working now there are neater ways to do this but this is the way i'm doing it because it's the easiest so i'm just going to feed it under the carpet now all being well this should go back into place with the wire underneath it because there should be space for it really like I said, there are better ways to do this. But this is the easiest way. So this is what I'm doing. So that's one wire fed through pretty much. And then with this bit, as you can see, well, it's just thrown in. Look. And it comes out where the all is. I just need to do the same, but on the side. So it doesn't like wrap around the pedals and cause a major crash. So there we see, look, right, done something that's a bit of a novelty here. I've used cable ties for cabling, you know, for tying cable. And I mean, that's not what they're usually used for, is it? But yeah, I've cable tied the wires up. <laughs> and also down here, just so it stays out of the way. And now we've got this wire coming through here. Well, we can mount the speakers and put everything back together um, and then connect it all in. So I need to, well, I need to put some spare connectors on here, which means I need to strip this off. Like so. And just a bit different, you know what I'm gonna do? I'm gonna use the brown. 
as a negative. All right, so that's wired into, well, to the wire and nothing else at the moment. So let's uh, let's mount the speakers on both sides at the same. So let's mount the speakers and uh, then we'll wire it in. then and this isn't how these speakers are meant to fit but they'll work as much so I'll just start them and then just spin them up tighten them up just do the same with each one so now that's screwed in and uh we'll just put all this back together now it's connected it's screwed in put all this shit back down got this here oh you fucker oh you, you see just push it back in and then put the uh, just put this back down where it goes yeah get it so that is one fitted and all back together there so like I said do the same with the other side and then connect them in and then pump some tunes so this is the wire for the rear left speaker now and on my edge unit and usually it'd be purple for the rear left um so yeah i need to join well not this side because that doesn't go for anything so i'll do for call but on my radio it's them two now they need to plug in but i've used these bullet connectors like this in case i need to reverse the phase so i'm just going to plug them in and see what it sounds like and i'll do the same for the other side so this is the way it should be. Uh, the line's the negative, which I made the brown the negative just to be different. So that's the way it should be. So I'll wire the other side in, and then I need to start at the illumination. Oh, tight nose, William Voices. Welcome to Dance Anthems on BBC Radio 1 and Hold Radio up. 1 Dance on BBC. Right, so that's how it sounds as it is. Now I want to reverse the phases and see if it sounds better or worse. Now I know that the rears, are in phase properly so i'm going to swap the fronts over and then if it sounds better i'll leave it if it sounds worse i'll swap it back but i can't remember which way around the wide the front ones so to get them all in proper phase i'm going to swap the fronts over until it sounds better <laughs> Yeah, I had to swap the phases over the front speakers because it was actually out of phase. Um, but that does sound a lot better so far, and I've not even set anything up yet. Anyway, let's go to the issue of the illumination now. Right, so that brings us to this illumination thing. So, Illuminati. The, um, the orange wire is what tells the radio when the lights are on, but there's two orange wires, and on the diagram, there's only one orange wire quality so i plug that one in and if it doesn't start smoking then we'll see if it works right, so lights off lights on yes hey look fucking hell uh -oh. hold on lights off shut up lights off lights on lights off lights on wow so let's put it back together. So now we have everything connected. And this just pushes in nice and gently. And uh, we put our screw back in. And this took way longer than it should have done, to be honest with you. Easy job actually, but I've been fucking about. So look. That's done, just time to tidy up. Just tidy up all this down here for now. Right, well, so, that brings us to the end of the video. So I'll turn it off now. And, um, yeah, well worth it, really. I mean, for what they cost, they're, uh, I mean, the stereo's actually like a stereo now. Um, I mean, them, like I said, them ones that I put in there, the little Pioneers, did make it a lot better. But I mean, they're only four inch speakers and they're like massive five and a half inch jobbies, you know? 
or five inch, can't remember, 5.25, I think, somewhere in the middle. Anyway, so they're like proper, you know, pumpers then. So anyway, that's uh, that's all for today. I've uh, I've sorted the uh, the uh, illumination on the dash out as well, on the stereo, and we fitted some some six speakers. Like I said, I went for some that were nice and subtle. I didn't want to get anything too gaudy, so I went for these edge ones. Uh, but I'm, I'm actually pretty happy now. Let's put that in properly. There we go. That's better. Must have been pumped off by all the uh, the speaker giving it big licks. So yeah, like I said, that's the end. That's all. That's all for today. Don't forget to like, subscribe, comment, ring the bell. I'm on Instagram as well. Uh, stupid bloke, stupid video, just with underscores between all the words. Um, so if you want to hit me up on there. Uh, anyway, so yeah, possibly see you next time. Bye.